beautiful sunshines, it's Sunny Bunny here, and we are going to be reacting today to the Doki Doki Literature Club Part 4 of Jacksepticeye. Now, a lot of people were um, asking me to react to this, um, to keep going with the series, and I just did uh, This Is Getting Creepy, Part 3 of this, so I will put that somewhere down in the description below, um, or down in this video somewhere. Uh, I know a couple times I say that and you're like, well, where's the link? Sometimes it doesn't work. Sometimes my computer crashes when I try to put the link in. So I, I deeply apologize about that. Um, so I, the title for this video is Extremely Uncomfortable. And that gets me extremely uncomfortable just knowing that this title is on this video. To, because I don't know what's going to happen. Um, like I said before, there are some times that I do suffer with depression and stuff like that, but I'm not, it's been a while since I've done all that, so I know probably a bunch of you are thinking, well, if you suffer with it, well, then don't continue for our sake. I really want to know what happens. It's it's not just for you guys. I also want to do this for me. I'm not, if it gets too much for me, I will let you guys know. I will stop the video and I will say I'm sorry, but I will post the video and I'll say sorry, I can't continue. Um, or I'll just tell you guys in a Twitter tote. A Twitter quote or something like that. I will let you guys know if a video becomes too much for me or something like that. So don't worry about me on that aspect. Um, so without me further ado, let's get right into the video. Top of the morning, chill ladies. My name is Jack Septic and welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. Yay! Things are getting weird. Yeah. I don't know what to expect anymore. Yeah. Uh, somebody's very, very sad. Somebody uh -huh. else came over to my house and had a great time, but yep. it was kind of tainted by something else. Monica keeps breaking the fourth wall. Things Monica, are getting crazy. Stop that. Um, and after the reaction to the other episode that just went up, mm -hmm. people are like, oh, Jack's getting to the weird shit now. So. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, strap yourselves in. <clears throat> I'm Jack, scared. You're the first one here. Oh, Thanks no. Thanks for being early. That's funny. I, I love, thought at least Yuri would be here by now. Monica is placing little booklets on each that, of the, the desks that in the classroom. They must be the ones she prepared when, that has all the poems we're performing. In the end, I found a random poem online that I thought Monica would like and submitted it. Okay. So that's the one I'll be performing. I'm surprised you didn't bring Sayori with you. Uh oh. Yeah, she overslept again. That dummy. You think that on days... This important, she'd try a little harder. I say that, but I suddenly remember what Sayori told me yesterday, and I suddenly feel awful, uh -oh. knowing it's not nearly that simple for her. Yeah. I only said it because it's the way I'm used to thinking. Yeah. But maybe I should have gone to wake her up after all. <laughs> you should take a little responsibility for her, Jack. No. I mean, especially after your exchange with her yesterday. You kind of left her hanging this morning, you know? Oh, how rude. How did you know? Yeah. Exchange? Monica, you know about that? Of course I do. I'm the club president after all. But I stammer, embarrassed. Did Siori really tell her about it that quickly? About how I basically turned down her confession? Yeah. It makes me really seem like the bad guy here. Yeah, it does. But I'm the one who knows what's best for her, right? Mm-hmm. Jeez. You don't know the full story at all, so... Don't worry. I probably know a lot more than you think. What? Okay. <laughs> what do you Monica mean? Monica's being as friendly as usual. For some reason, I felt a chill down my spine after hearing yeah. that. Yeah. Hey, do you want to check out the pamphlets? I do not trust you. <laughs> this is... She's weird. Yeah. They came out really nice. But so, because she's broken the fourth wall already and yeah. told you to... Save your game. Yeah. Does she know directly what the player's doing? Oh, yeah, gosh. Yeah, sure. I grabbed one of the pamphlets laid out on the desks. Oh, yeah, they really did. Something like this will definitely help people take the club more seriously. Okay. Yeah, I thought so, too. I flipped through the pages. Each member's poem is neatly printed on its own page, giving it an almost professional feel. Okay. I recognize Natsuki's and Yuri's poems from the ones they performed during our practice. What's this? I flipped the Sayori's poem. It's different from the one she practiced. It's one that I haven't read before. What the oh, heck? Oh, God. What the heck is this? Oh, it just says, God. get out of my head over and over and over again. Oh, creepy. Uh, get out of my head before oh, I do no. what I know is best for you. Get out of my head before I listen to everything she said to me. Get out of my head before I show you how much I love you. Get out of my head before I finish writing this poem. But a poem is never actually finished. It just stops moving. What? 
So is she saying that to me, that I'm the thing that she can't get out of her head? Oh, Jack, you screwed up. You screwed up. Oh, God. Oh, uh, what is this? Reading the poem, I get a pit in my stomach. Oh, we keep having to check the <laughs> fucking game files now as well, because it's causing shit on me. Jack, what's wrong? Uh, nothing. This poem feels completely different from everything else Sayori's written. But more than that, I, I, I changed my mind. I'm going to go get Sayori, so... Uh, well, all right. Try not to take too long, okay? Okay. I quickly leave the classroom. Don't strain yourself. Monica what? calls that out after me. What? I quicken my pace. What does that mean? What was I thinking? I should have tried a little bit harder for Sayori. It's not a big deal to at least wait for her or help her wake up. Yeah. Even the simple gesture of walking her to school makes her really happy. Yeah. Besides, I told her yesterday that things will be the same as they always have been. It's all she needs and what I want to give her. Okay. I reach Sayori's house and knock on the door. I don't expect an answer since she's not picking up her phone either. Like what, yesterday, what, I the door what, and myself this, in. I was like, what's with oh, this hand? No. Oh no. Sayori? She really is a heavy sleeper. I swallow. I can't believe I'm <laughs> I love how we just swallowed. Wake Waking her up, up in, in her, her own house. house. Isn't that more like something a boyfriend, boyfriend would do? do? I'm so nervous. Uh, this is scaring me. In any case, it just feels right. Outside Sayori's uh, room, I knock on her door. Sayori? Wake up, dummy! I have a feeling I know There's what's... There's no response. I really didn't want to have to enter her room like this. Isn't it kind oh, of a I have breach a feeling of privacy? I know what's going to happen. But she really leaves me no choice. I uh, gently open the door. <gasps> oh, oh my god! god! Oh my god. What the fuck? Oh, I knew that was going to happen. I felt it in the what last the one. Fuck? I thought she was going to do that. I knew that was going to happen. Oh, Jackie. What's Reception has What's occurred. Happening? Oh, why'd you have to kill the cute one? Game folders. Oh, no. Oh, no. See, trace back oh, this TXT music's for freaking details. me out. What the hell? I'm sorry, but an uncaught exception occurred. occurred. By running game code. Oh, jeez, I didn't break anything, did I? Hold Restart on. top context. Oh, jeez, I didn't break anything, did I? Hold on a sec, I can probably fix this. I think... Actually, you know what? This would probably be a lot easier if I just deleted her. Deleted She's her? She's the one that's making this so difficult. What? What? Who's deleting her? What do you mean by deleting her? What the fuck is going on? I'm so confused. What the hell? What the hell? Is this a nightmare? It has to be. This isn't real. There's no way this can be real. No. Siori wouldn't do this. Everything That's was how bad her depression was. Ago. Some people do this. That's why I can't believe my eyes are showing me. Oh my gosh. I suppressed the urge to vomit. Just yesterday, I told Siori I would be there for her. I told her I know it's best and everything oh, will be okay. When people thought oh, this was she didn't come out this morning. Oh. Oh, I wonder how long she's been like Wait that. Wait a second. What? No fucking way. What? There's a folder in the game uh -huh. called Characters. Mm -hmm. And in that folder, I've checked it before, it just had Monica.chr, Natsuki.chr, and Yuri.chr. Yeah. But it also had Sayori, and Sayori's gone now. What? So her character has actually been deleted from the game files. <laughs> what? How the hell did they do that? Oh, this is creepy! Oh. I don't like this! <laughs> That's why right. it was Monica, wasn't it? Oh. Because she's the one breaking the fourth wall. There's only, there's only one character who could actually do that. And yeah, because she she's the one that keeps this. telling Oh my gosh. She's the one saying, I didn't break anything, did I? It would be a lot easier if I just deleted her. She's the one doing this. Oh, that's so Haha, freaky. Well, here goes nothing. You actually just deleted Sayori from the game. Oh my gosh. Well, couldn't you do it in the <laughs> less like... This is oh, I get it. I get it now. I get what people were talking about. could you just like send her away so and that's how you deleted her? What did her? I do wrong? Turning down her confession? That has to have been what pushed her over the edge. Her agonized scream still echoes in my ears. Why did I do that to her when she needed me the most? Oh my gosh. Why was I so selfish? This is my fault, and the music's getting all creepy. My yeah, swarming thoughts is. keep telling me everything I could have done to prevent this. Oh, if I just so spent more time crazy. with her, chills up my walked her to right school, now, and gave her what I know she wanted out of our relationship, then I could have prevented this. I know I could have prevented this. Screw the literature club. Screw the festival. I just lost my best Aww. friend. Someone I grew up with. She's gone forever now. 
Nothing I do can bring her back. This isn't some game where I can reset and try something different. Uh, well, well, technically it is, and that's what Monica was saying. Yeah. To save your thing. I only had one chance and I wasn't careful enough. And now I carry this guilt with me until I die. Oh my gosh. Nothing in my life is worth more than hers. But I still couldn't do what she needed from me. And now, I can never take it back. Never. 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 Oh my gosh. No! Say, what? What? Whoa, wait. No, 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 no. Someone said, told me there was a part five. What? Oh, Whoa! No. What the oh, freak? No. I don't like it! Uh, I would click out of the game. <laughs> click out of the game. Click out of the game! Oh, that's so freaking creepy! <laughs> it's a bunch of them put so together! So, Sayori is gone! And then just a mix of them are in their but place. all that's left is like an amalgamation of the but other it's characters mostly, in But it's mostly, if you place. notice, it's mostly <laughs> Monica. It's like, like different pizza, but it's mostly Monica. And why was the new game in- What oh, the no. freak is this? It's starting the game again, but it's all fucked up! I see uh, a white girl is... run toward me from the distance, waving her- Oh god. That girl is- Oh, it doesn't even have her name! She just has no name anymore. Oh my gosh. Oh, is she gonna be screwed up? Oh, please don't be screwed up. Oh, is she gonna- Is she gonna turn up all fucked up? Please don't. Oh, that's freaking weird. Oh, oh my gosh, no. what is that? Oh my gosh, what the freak? What? <laughs> now it's starting a completely new... Oh, fuck you, game! <laughs> Mornings are usually the worst, being surrounded by couples and friend groups walking to school together. Meanwhile, I've always walked to school alone. I'm so into this! This is an outstanding turn of events! Yeah. I always tell myself it's about time I meet some girls or something like that, but I have no motivation to join any clubs. I'm perfectly... So now, the game has basically started again. Yeah. It tried to do it with Sayori in it, realized the character is gone. Yeah. And then tried it and just deleted and then her. just decided to make up a scenario where that character never existed, so now we're getting new dialogue. I mean, obviously completely intentional by the developers, but that's yeah. awesome! That's so It's always the cool. anime club, but it's not like there would be any girls in it anyway. Okay, this is all the same, but different. Yeah. Frankly, stare at the wall looking for, okay, clubs. This is all the same. We've we've read this before. Yep. Because I have no choice but to start with the anime club. And this is where Sayori would come in. Mm hmm Check, oh, oh mother geez. of God. Monica. Oh, God, she turned into Monica. Oh, no. Monica, what did you do? <laughs> Monica? Oh, my goodness. I totally didn't expect to see you here. It's been a while, right? Uh, yeah. Freaking creepy has. as hell. Monica smiles sweetly. We do know each other. Well, we rarely talk, but yeah. we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. Basically completely out of my league, so having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little... What did you come in here for, anyway? Oh, I've just been looking for some supplies to use for my club. Do you know if there's any construction paper in here? Or markers? Guess <laughs> you could check the closet. You're in the debate club, right? Uh, about that. I actually quit the debate club. Really? You quit? Really? Yeah. To be honest, I cast them. Yeah, okay, this is the same. Yeah. Yeah, I remember this from the first episode. I take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. In that case, what club did you say to join? Actually, I'm starting a new one. <sighs> what the fuck? That was creepy as all hell. That's Sayori trying to get through. A literature club. Literature? That sounds kind of dull. Yeah. How many members do you have so far? Um, <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing, but there's only three of us so far. You fucking liar! There was four! <laughs> it's really hard to find new members for something that sounds so boring. Well, I can see that. But it's really not boring at all, you know? Literature can be anything. Reading, writing, poetry. Yeah. I mean, one of my members even keeps her manga collection in the club room. Wait, really? Yeah, it's funny, right? Yeah, she I guess. She always insists that manga is literature, too. I mean, she's not wrong, I guess. And besides, a member's a member, right? I guess. Did Monica say she? 
Hmm. Hey, Jack, by any chance, are you still looking for a club to join? Uh, I, I mean, I mean, I guess so, but... Yeah. In that case, is there any chance you could do me a big favor? I won't ask you to join, but if you could at the very least visit my club, it would make me really happy. Please? Um, well, I guess I have no reason to refuse. Are we just progressing now? Forgetting that Sayori ever existed? Yeah, basically. Besides, how could I ever refuse someone like Monica? Sure, I guess I could check it out. Uh, awesome. You're really sweet, Jack, you know yeah. that? It, it's really nothing. Shall we go then? I look for the materials another time. You are more important. You're doing this on purpose, aren't you? Yeah, she is. Little freaking devil. Is she like a character who's able to see through, like... She's like Deadpool. Or Flowey. <laughs> she's able to, like, see through the game. She's able to see through the fact that it's a game and she's talking... Like, she knows that you're going to be there. She kind of needs you for something. and Probably. Or maybe she wants me. and She's getting rid of all the other girls. That's creepy. Although she... Only Sayori's dead. But she... Oh, it sounds weird. Yeah. I timidly follow Monica across the school and upstairs. A section of the school I rarely visit. Yeah, this is all the same. Monica, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. I'm back. <laughs> I'm and back. And I brought a guest with me. <laughs> oh, Whoa. fucking Christ. Okay, Jeez. this is terrifying. This is getting really creeped out uh, now. A, a guest? No, that means all my progress with Yuri is reverted. No. No, we were getting along so well. Wait, I wonder did any... Okay, what? happy thoughts is the same. Yeah, that's creepy still. <laughs> oh, I'm nervous. Yeah. Seriously, you brought a boy. Way to kill the atmosphere. Don't be mean, Natsuki. But anyway, welcome to the club, Jack. All words escape me in this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. All this stuff we've seen before. You're Monica's boyfriend, right? What? No, what? I'm not. Natsuki. The girl with the sour attitude is named apparently Natsuki. Yeah, these, this is all the same as well. Yeah. Uh, anyway, this is Natsuki. Energetic as usual. Except Sayori was the one introducing me to all of these the last time. Yeah. And this is Yuri, the vice president. No! Aww. Sayori was the voice, pre voice president. <laughs> voice president. It, it's nice to meet you. Yuri, who appears comparably more mature and timid, seems the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's nice to meet both of you. Yeah. So, I ran into Jack in a classroom, and he decided to come check out the club. Well, I didn't Isn't decide. He kind of told me to come Wait, check out the club. Wait, Monica! Did, didn't I tell you to let me know in advance before you brought anyone new? I was going to... Well, you know. Sorry, sorry. I, I didn't forget that, but I just happened to run into him. In that case, I should at least make some tea, right? Yeah. Yeah, that would be great. Why don't you come sit down, Jack? I don't want to sit down. The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. Yuri walks to the corner of the room and opens up the closet. Meanwhile, Monica and Natsuki sit across from each other. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Monica. So, I know you didn't really plan on coming here, but we'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? This, this As president of the Literature Club, creepy, guys. it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. You know, I'm surprised there's not one energetic pink-haired girl with a ribbon yeah. who's lovely and we all forgot about. <laughs> it must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting all, out all the effort for something brand new. Yeah. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. Yeah. But it makes school events like the festival that much more important. Yeah. I'm confident that we can all really grow this club before we graduate. Right, Natsuki? Well, Natsuki, yes. she's so cute. Natsuki reluctantly agrees. Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard just to find these two. Yeah. She didn't. No. You don't deserve this. Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set. Well, I keep saying that, but she might not have anything to do with it at all, but... You never I'm know. I'm on to you. She currently <laughs> places a teacup in front of each of us. Some of this is all the same, so I'm just repeating the same... Lines. Yeah. Keep a whole tea set in the classroom. Don't worry, the teacher gave us permission. After all, I'll talk up to you, do you good book? I guess. Uh, don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. Uh, okay. Th th that's not uh, insulted. Yuri looks away. Aww. I meant that, you know. I believe you. 
Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. Yeah. I'm glad. Aww. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. So, Jack, what kinds of things do you like to read? Well, uh, considering how little I've read the past few years. You didn't! You read a lot! Yeah. You're answering the same thing! But I, as a player, this is like Groundhog Day. But I, as the player, know. Yeah. And I'm playing as Bill Murray, who doesn't know. <laughs> really weird. I'm skipping some of this because this is all stuff we've seen. And now, when I went into the settings before, mm -hmm. it said, skip unseen text. Yeah. Don't so does this mean that. skip everything except the unseen text? Don't because I would like that, because now I don't want to reread everything I've read already. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna save. No! Oh my gosh, all no! the time. Oh, fucking weird! She deleted everything. These are all saves and now they're gone! Oh my gosh. Oh, that's awesome! Monica, what did you do? <laughs> Okay, I want to see what happens if I if I click this. Whoa. Okay, 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 stop, stop, stop. Do you have any writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe you share some... Okay, I don't know if I actually skipped some shit. Sorry. Yeah. You can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. I guess it's the same for Yuri. We all sit in silence for a moment. Hey, I just got an idea. How about this? This is all the stuff I've seen! Yeah. Oh, jeez. Skip the unseen text. You've unlocked a special poem. Would, Would you, you like, like to read, read it? I hope I didn't actually skip anything, sorry. Yeah. Just a lot of that was the exact same stuff, just missing uh, Sayori. I think you did. Okay, I'm on to you, game. I'm checking your shit. <laughs> a dream. I was wandering an abandoned warehouse at night. I was lost, looking for an exit. I just wanted to go home. I came upon a huge empty room, its ceilings and walls the deep black beyond the deep blackness. My steps were quick in order to hurry to the other side, or to a wall. Anything. Suddenly, the ground was no longer beneath my feet. I stepped into a hole of... Jack inter has that very good inter Indeterminate voice. width. I fell for a good five seconds before crashing into Mark warm and water. That's what Mark and Jack Figuring out which way was up, I surfaced very myself. good narrations. The air was human, and the sounds of my splashing reverberated endlessly. My vision was completely swallowed by the dark. With one hand, I could feel the damp metal wall of the container. My lungs I'm were already, already getting, getting tired. tired. That's creepy. What the freak what? does that mean? Oh, no. Okay, so... Since I went through this already, yeah, and since I did Yuri stuff, let's see what happens if I go with Natsuki stuff now. Okay. Um. Boop. Uh. Sweet. Yep. This is the stuff that I said would all be perfect for her. Yep. Uh. Dance. Yep. Yeah. Let's see if I can actually predict her. If she really was that easy all along. And get 20 out of 20 for her. Um, oh. Melody, oh. probably. Melody, Melody? Yep. yeah. Um, um, chocolate. Yep. Fun. 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 Yep. Sugar. Yep. <laughs> uh, twirl. twirl. Yep. Uh, joy, probably. Joy. No! You okay. like joy? Okay. Since when, Yuri? Laugh. I know you, okay? Laugh. Um, Valentine. Um, lollipop. Bunnies. Yep. Puppies. <laughs> heart. Giggle. <laughs> milk. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that's a chillax. Climax. Shiny. Um, hope. Oh, shit. And, and love. love. Oh, what no. The oh, no. Stop. <laughs> stop. <laughs> you must stop. Oh, it's almost like the game is like, hey, remember me? Oh. <laughs> oh it's one of those game. things that it's like the game knows what you're doing. 
and it's giving you that like creep up your back. I don't Thank like you, it. Jack. Glad to see you didn't run away on us. <laughs> nah, don't worry. This might be a little strange, but at least you keep my word. This is the stuff I said to Sayori. Oh what the God! Stop! <laughs> you must stop this. <laughs> Thanks for keeping your promise, Jack. Stop! Oh, you yeah, must yeah, yeah, yeah. stop this. Oh no! No! Oh, everything oh, was coming. Oh come on! Like he deserves any slack. This is all stuff we've read before as well. Yeah. Why are you in front of the text? What? That was creepy. Now my now I now I'm like keyed into everything. Yeah. Now that I don't know what type of game this is. <laughs> I'm like I'm identifying every single little clue. Like her standing in front of the text, does that mean she thinks she's in front of the other girls? Probably. Um This is all the same stuff. I'll read the stuff that I think is new. Yep. Uh See, I wanna skip, but I feel like it's not actually skipping the unseen stuff. Yeah. Or skipping to the unseen stuff. And it sounds like the music is slightly going out of tune. Okay, yeah, this is us reading the book again. Yep. I should look it up just so I just so I know. Oh god. What? There's a there's a text file in the folders now that says can you hear me? Oh, that's creepy. Oh, that's creepy. There's a little, There's a little devil thing. inside all of us. Beneath their manufactured perception, their artificial reality, is a writhing, twisted mess of dread, what? loathing, judgment, elitism, self-doubt, all thrashing to escape the feeble hold of their host, that's seeping creepy. through every little crevice they can find. Oh, that's creepy. Into their willpower, starving them of all motivation and desire. Uh -huh. Into their stomach, forcing them to drown their guilt in comfort food, or into a newly opened gash in their skin. Hidden only by the sleeves of a cute new shirt. Uh -huh. Such a deplorable, tangled mass I all, is already present in every single one of them. Okay. That's why I choose not to blame myself for their actions. All I did was untie the knot. That's creepy. Okay, so... Newly opened gash in their skin, hidden only by the sleeves of a cute new shirt. Yeah. Seems like she's... Whoever this is is talking about Yuri. Uh-huh. Loathing, judgment, elitism, self-doubt. Is that Natsuki? Maybe. Oh, this is really bizarre. This is phenomenal. I love this type of shit. <laughs> she seems to be annoyed by something. I approach her in case she needs a hand. Oh, this is new. Okay. Yeah. Looking for something in there? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Monica! What? She never puts my stuff back in the right spot! What's the point in keeping your collection organized that someone else is just gonna mess it up? Let's like he slides a bunch of stacked books and boxes across the shelf. Manga! You eat manga, right? Uh, sometimes. I've yeah. known to dabble. <laughs> manga is one of those things where you can't admit you're really into it until you figure out what the other person stands. <laughs> How did you know, anyway? I heard you bring it up at some point. Besides, it's kind of written on your face. Really? Where? What's that supposed to mean? I... Uh, I see. There's a lone volume of manga amidst a stack of various books on the side of one of the shelves. Curious, I pull it out of the stack. There it is! Natsuki snatches it out of my hand. Then she turns to a box of manga and slips the volume right into the middle of the rest. Ah, much better. <laughs> Seeing a box set with one book missing is probably the most irritating sight in the world. I know that feel. I get a closer look at the box that sh set she's admiring. Parfait Girls? <laughs> it's a series I've never heard in my life. That probably means it's either way out of my demographic or it's simply terrible. Oh, jeez. <laughs> way to be elitist, my dude. Yeah. Um, okay, keeping an eye on files. Yep. If you're gonna judge, you can go do it through the glass on that door. She points to the classroom door. Hey! I wasn't judging anything. No. I didn't even say anything. I was totally judging in my head, though. <laughs> it's the tone of your voice. But I'll tell you one thing, Jack. What? Consider this a li Oh, fuck. Don't, Don't judge, judge a, book. a book. Don't judge a book. Is this you saying this? Is this Sayori trying to get through me? That would be so fucking That's cool. he pulls out the first volume of Parfait Girls if, if in the you box. See I'm going to show you exactly uh, why. standing there. She shoves the book right into my hands. Ah, 
I stare at the cover. It features four girls in colorful attire striking animated feminine poses. Like you Sounds guys were? very familiar. Yeah. It's exceedingly mo. Would you stand there? What? Natsuki grabs my arm and pulls me out of the closet. She then takes a seat against the wall beneath the window sills. She pats on the ground next to her, signaling me to sit there. Wouldn't chairs be more comfortable? I take my seat. Chairs wouldn't work. We can read the same time at the same time like that. Uh, why is that? Yeah. Uh, I guess it's easier to be close together like this. D don't just say that. You make me feel weird about it. Let's get crosses her arms and scooches an inch away from me. Yeah. This is like what I was doing with Yuri, but now it's Natsuki. Didn't exactly expect to be sitting this close to her either. Yeah. Not that I can say it's a particularly bad thing. I open the book. It's only a few seconds before Natsuki once again inches closer, reclaiming the additional space while she hopes I won't notice. I can feel her peering over my shoulder, much more eager to begin reading than I am. Mm -hmm. Wow, how long has it been since I read the beginning? Hmm, you don't go back and flip through the older volumes every now and then? Yeah. Not really. Maybe sometimes after I've already finished the series. Hey, are you paying attention? Uh, I am, but nothing's really happened yet, so I can talk at the same time. Looks like it's a bunch of friends in high school. Yeah. Typical slice of life affair. Yeah. I kind of grew out of these since it's rare for the writing to be entertaining enough to make up for the lack of plot. Mm -hmm. Are you saying something, developer, about your own game? <laughs> oh god, you look even more like a child now that I'm this close. Are you sure this isn't boring for you? It's not. Even though you're just watching me read. Well, I'm fine with that. If you say so. <laughs> this is fun sharing something you like with someone else. I always get excited when I convince any of my friends to pick up a series I enjoy. You know what I mean? Oh? <laughs> you uh -huh. don't? Um... That's not... Well, I wouldn't really know. What do you mean? Don't you share your manga with your friends? Could you not rub it in? What? Jeez. Ah. Sorry. Aww. Like, hm. I could ever get my friends to read this. You just think manga is for kids. Can I bring it up without them being all like, Oh, you still haven't grown out of that yet? Jeez. You just want to push them in the face. <laughs> uh, I know those kinds of people. Honestly, it takes a lot of effort to find friends who don't judge, much, yep. less, much less friends who are also into it. Yep. I'm already kind of a loser, so I guess I gravitated toward the other losers over time. Yep. But it's probably harder for someone like you. Hmm? Yeah, that's pretty accurate. Mm-hmm. Wait, which part? I mean, I feel like I can't even keep it in my own room. My dad, my dad would, would beat the shit out of me, out of me if he found this. It. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> At least it's safe here in the club room. Except Monica's kind of a jerk about it. Aww. Ugh. Just can't win, can I? Well, it paid off in the end, didn't it? I mean, here I am, reading it. Well, it's not like that solves any of my problems. Maybe. At least you're enjoying yourself, right? Uh... So? <laughs> Jeez, that's enough! Are you gonna keep reading or what? Yeah, yeah. I flipped the page. Oh, jeez. Something's gonna fr uh, something's gonna be freaky. Time passes. Natsuki is strangely quiet now. I glance over at her. Oh, oh she's... she's asleep. Oh. Hey, Natsuki? Hey, yeah? Suddenly, Nats Natsuki collapses straight into me. Hey! Whoa! Oh, God! What no. the freak? Oh, why? What the freak? What the fuck is this? Why are you all weird all of a sudden? <laughs> What the hell? What the fuck? Monica? Oh, jeez. Natsuki, are you okay? Here. Monica reaches into her bag and pulls out some kind of protein bar. She throws it in Natsuki's direction. Natsuki's eyes suddenly light up again. She snatches the bar from the floor and immediately tears off the wrapper. Told you not to give me... Oomph. She doesn't even finish her sentence before stuffing it into her mouth. Don't worry, Jack. She's fine. It just happens now and then. Really? Her That's eyes and mouth go black? My bag for her. I'm getting really weird, like, controlling AI vibes from you. Yeah. Controlling all the other aspects of the game. Yeah. Like, she's the, she's the developer cool. of the game. Anyway, why don't we all share our poems now? I don't want to share my poem. I don't want to share. Okay, I don't want to do that. Let's go to Yuri, then Natsuki, then Monica. Because I want to see what Yuri thinks of my poem now. 
Yuri stares at the poem. A minute passes more than enough time for her to finish reading. Okay. Um. Oh, so, sorry. I forgot to start speaking. Oh my God. Uh, um, She's so cute. It's fine. Don't force yourself. I, I'm not. I just need to put my thoughts into words. Hold on. Okay. This is your first time writing a poem, right? No, it's like my uh, fifth. Yeah. Why do you ask? I'm just making sure. I guess that it might be after reading through it. Ah, so it's that bad? N no! Did I just raise my voice? Oh, oh, I'm, so I'm so sorry. Yuri buries Aww. her face in her hands. Maybe I should have gone for Yuri's poem again. Yeah. What if me picking a girl is ends up saving that girl? Maybe. Not but notice that it's been several minutes and we really haven't gotten anywhere. Might take Yuri a while to get used to new people. It's fine, I really didn't notice. Yeah. What were you saying? Right, um, it's just that there are specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers. Mm -hmm. And having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up on them. I think the most noticeable thing I recognize in new writers is that they try to make their style very deliberate. Okay, yeah, this is the same stuff as before. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this is all the same. Yeah, you don't want to go too fast because you might skip something. Okay, let's see if her poem is the same. Ghost under the light. The tendrils of my hair illuminate me. Yeah, this is the yeah. same. The light flickers, I flicker uh. back. Okay. okay. Terrible handwriting. We've been here before. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, this is all the same. Yeah. Maybe I should just skip. No! Okay, Natsuki. You just skipped like half the stuff. Okay, well let's start with the things I don't like. First okay. of all, um, Natsuki rereads my poem. Never mind. I don't feel like giving you my opinion. Jeez. Uh, then what's the point of sharing it in the first place? <laughs> I wrote this when I could have been doing other things. Ugh. In fact, remember how I said I wanted to read your poems? That's what I had in mind when I was writing this. I wanted to help you feel comfortable enough to share yours. Like Monica said. Yeah. Ugh. Well, I'd be more comfortable sharing my poem if yours was really bad. You were supposed to show me some dumb poem and make me go, Ha! Well, it's not that great, but let me show you what real literature looks like. And you yeah. went and ruined it. hope you're happy. No, I'm sorry. So, in other words, you're saying you liked it? Yeah. Let's get your tort gets caught in her throat. Ugh. You're so... What? You just... You what? Don't understand anything, do you? Jeez. I already told you that you don't have to go announcing it to the world like you are all self-important. Jeez, calm down. Pretty sure you never actually said that. I say that mostly to myself. Natsuki must really hate me or something. Yep. I figure out if it's a win or a loss that she liked my poem. In any case, you still need to show me yours, right? Ugh, fine, I guess. Only because Monica will make me if I don't. Okay. Same one. Okay. Alrighty. So all right. is this basically saying it matters fuck all what you write? Yeah. Is this the same stuff? Yep. Yep. She's gonna give me the same writing tip of the day. Okay, stop. Uh, ha, ha, fuck. Yeah. You skipped over You could say it's stuff. fancy. Uh, thanks. Yours is cute. Cute? Did you completely miss it? Yeah, this is the same. Yep. Don't skip it again because you're gonna miss stuff. See? Oh, the why notes are it... different in that song. Yeah, why is the music get... different? So, my prediction of what's gonna happen is that the, the deeper into this I get, more characters are gonna start disappearing. Probably. And then... The game is gonna get progressively more fucked up. Yeah, basically. Yeah, that's saying that... Yeah. Talking about her boobs being big and talking that Jack <laughs> liked my poem as well. And Oh, there was some text in there that I didn't get to see. Uh... Shit! Fuck, I skipped to the. Oh, oh, jeez. Do oh. She can't, he can't choose anybody's. I can't actually pick! Oh, God! Oh, God! Stop! <laughs> <laughs> what the freak? Natsuki, Natsuki, Natsuki. Hello. What the fuck? Hello. What? Hi. <laughs> Hi. I'm. Um. Hey, Jack. Why don't we step outside?
outside Whoa. for a little bit. Auntie, okay. stop that. <laughs> what the fuck is happening, man? I don't know. Sorry about that. They really shouldn't have tried to get you involved. It's probably better for us to stay out of this. I'll go back inside once they're done yelling. <laughs> Some president I am, right? Can't even confront my own cup members properly. Just wish I was able to be a little more assertive sometimes. But I never have it in me to put my foot down against others. You understand, right? Yeah, I guess. Anyway, if this makes you want to spend less time with the others, then that's fine. I'd be happy to spend some time with you instead. It's creepy. Suddenly Natsuki runs out of the classroom. Oh no, she's crying. She quickly runs away. Oh, no. oh dear. Well, it looks like they're done. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. Yuri is rocking back and forth in her desk with her palms on her forehead. Aww. Yuri? But I didn't mean it. I I believe you. I have no idea what Yuri might have said to Natsuki. Yeah. Or did. Jack, p please don't hate me. Please. I'm not like this. Okay. There's something wrong with me today. Okay. It's fine, Yuri. We know you didn't mean it. Besides, I'm sure Natsuki will forget all about it by tomorrow. Uh, Completely. That's creepy. Anyway, the meeting is over. You can go home now if you want. Yuri looks at me like she wants to say something. But she keeps glancing at Monica. You, you can go first, Monica. I'd like to stay a little bit longer. I'm the president, so I should be the last one out. Creepy. I'll wait for you to be done. No. Well, I'm vice president, so please let me take that responsibility today. Kind of sounds like you don't want me around or something, Yuri. Oh, that's it, It's not that. It's not that. I just... I didn't get much of a chance to discuss my book with Jack. It would just be embarrassing with you listening. <sighs> I guess I don't really have a choice. Do I? No. Nope. I I'm sorry for causing you trouble. <gasps> oh, jeez. Oh, fuck me, dude. Fuck me, dude. <laughs> it's Monica. Monica's doing everything. Yeah, she is. It's like she's supposed to be controlling the girls. That's why she's the president. Yeah. And when they try and go against her, she just fucks it all up. Yeah. I mean, if that wasn't telling that when they were arguing, she just came out of nowhere came in front of all the dialogue options and everything, basically yeah. breaching the game and talking directly to the player. That was creepy. Oh, fucking weird! Okay, all, the other characters are still there anyway. Okay. okay, I guess it doesn't fucking matter what I pick <laughs> around here. <laughs> it just seems that it's all random. <laughs> Well, I picked a lot of Yuri stuff anyway, it yeah. seems. Another day has... Another day passes and it's time for the club meeting already. This... This game... Oh, no. There's another thing. Oh, no. What is it? What is it? A poem There's or a text file and it just has all the letter... Like, lowercase i's. That's creepy. Just like i, 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 i. Uh -huh. does it say? I hate this. I can't do anything. Nothing. I hate this. I can't do anything. Nothing! No matter how many times you play, it's all the same. It would be really, really easy to kill myself right now. But that would mean I don't get to talk to you anymore. All I want is for you to hate them. Why is that so hard? Jeez. Is that Monica talking to me? Probably. It's not Yuri. It's definitely not Yuri. Okay, uh, um... Yuri, because it's like... It's like she was acting out not under her own will. That yeah. Monica was making her do stuff. And that's what saying she kept that, like She kept at. glancing over at Monica saying that yeah. she's not normally like this. Yeah. And then Monica was like, I didn't want to have to do this. Are you going to make me do it, aren't you? Yeah. And then the day ended. Like she didn't have a choice. Yeah. Natsuki's reading manga at a desk and surprisingly Monica isn't here yet. Suddenly Yuri takes my hand and pulls me to the corner of the room. About yesterday, I... I really need to apologize. Nothing like that has ever happened before. And 
Something just came over me, I guess. I wasn't acting mentally sound. Please don't think we're usually like this. Not just me, but Natsuki as well. Yeah. Yuri, I'm happy that you were considerate and apologized, but you don't have to worry too much. Even though I've only been here a couple of days, I could tell something was off yesterday. Like we were just a little extra sensitive because it was our first time sharing poems. Probably. Or whatever it was, it didn't make me think any less of you. I already had decided that there's no way you could be a bad person. And now that you're apologizing, I know you really didn't mean it. Yeah. But, uh, Jack, don't say those kinds of things so frankly. They make me a little too happy. Really? I'm really glad that you're such an understanding person. And I'm really glad that you joined this club. Everything is a little bit brighter with you around. And uh, Sorry, what am I saying right now? I just... Hey, have you guys seen Monica? Uh, no, I haven't. I was also <laughs> kind of wondering where she was. Man, Yuri, I'm guessing you haven't either. Aww. Yuri's clearly taken aback by how calmly Natsuki is addressing her. Jeez. Like something reset and didn't yeah. happen and somebody can't remember it. Yeah. N no, I haven't. Jeez. This is like her at all. I know it's stupid, but I can't help but worry a little bit. What? What are you looking at me like that? Um, Natsuki, about yesterday, I just wanted to apologize. I promise I didn't mean any of the things I said, and I'll do my best to stay under control from now on. So, Yuri, what the heck are you talking about? Yeah. Did Natsuki, you do something yesterday? Natsuki doesn't remember, but Yuri does. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Yuri's going to be the next one to die, isn't she? Either Yuri or Natsuki, because, because Natsuki she's not just got under all... the spell yeah. anymore. Yeah. She's not a puppet anymore. Yeah, she's not. Jeez! Whatever's on your mind, I'm sure it was nothing. I don't even remember anything bad yeah. happening. You're the kind of person who worries too much. Okay. About the little things. Aren't ya? <laughs> aren't ya? But, but I accept your apology anyway, if it okay. helps you feel better about it. Yay! Besides, it's kind of nice to hear. Since I was always afraid you secretly hated me or something like that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> no, not at all. I don't hate you. <laughs> well, you're kind of weird, but I don't hate you either. Good, good, good. Natsuki turns to me. You're still on trial, though. Aww. Hey, suddenly the door swings open. S uh, sorry, I'm super sorry. The ah, president, she's always late to her own I club. I didn't mean to be late. Why is she you guys the president? Worried or anything. No, trust me, nah. I don't think they got well, worried Natsuki at all. Was. I, I was not! Uh, what took you so long, anyway? Uh, well, my last period today was study hall, to be uh -huh. honest. And I just lost track of time, so this is the same. Yeah. It makes no sense, though. You would have heard the bell ring, at least. Yeah, same. Practicing yeah. piano. Okay. Working on a song. Uh-huh. I won't let you down, Jack. Monica smiles sweetly. Monica wants me all to herself, doesn't she? Yeah, she does. And she'll do don't anything worry. to get it. Something that I could share with you anyway. I was practicing so much recently. Yeah. Yeah. Now, now that I think back to her saying that line that she was practicing the song a bit too much recently because of me. Yeah. Now I get it. Was she under? Was she controlling Sayori from the start and made her bring me into the club? Probably. Jack. Um. Since your compliments put me in a good mood, I was wondering if you would like to spend some time together today. I mean, in in the club. Suppose so. Yeah, this is the same, because I made the joke last time, like, in the club? Yeah. She's reading over there, so it's okay, right? Ah, in that case, I don't see any problem. Okay, can we start now? Let's find a place to sit. Okay. Being a little forceful, aren't I? I'm, I'm sorry. My heart just won't stop pounding for some reason. I'm on to you. <laughs> I'm not reading, by the way, because this is all stuff we've seen before. Yeah. Or some of it is very similar to what we've seen before, so... Yeah. Sorry if it seems like I'm just skipping over it. Portrait of Markov, same. Yeah. Okay. Ah, shit. I was like, we'd skip a little bit ahead and see, but some of the fucking black dialogue came up. Damn it! Yeah. What's auto? Don't put auto in. So just in. skip on its own? Probably. I don't know if it's interested in anything. 
Oh, yeah. Oh, they just skip anyway. It's yeah. something about my whole body. Oh, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Fuck, dude. Turn auto off. Oh, creepy. This this is really creepy. I don't so like this. So good. I love it. Like, I've, I've said this before. Mm -hmm. I think even some of the games that I've played that have done this before as well. I love fourth wall breaks. That's one of the reasons I love Deadpool so much. No, that's true. So this is awesome. Man, like, oh, oh, oh geez. It still gets me every time to <laughs> glitch it out like that. <laughs> let, let me just get the book. I quickly retrieve the book and put it in my bag. It's funny if I sit right here. Yeah, this is the one that she said she had two copies, right? Yeah. This is where we sit next to each other. Keep an eye out. Oh, fuck. Oh. It skips it on its own. Yeah. I didn't, like, I, I didn't even click that time. It just, like, flipped over itself. That's because you clicked auto and it probably flipped over. Sorry, I mean... Yeah, now we're gonna sit next to each other at our desks. Yeah. This day is all the same. Yeah. I'm keeping my eyes peeled on the environment as well. <laughs> you might be able to see some of the dialogue if you're watching the video. Yeah. Um, and a little trick if you're watching YouTube videos. If mm -hmm. you're if you're watching the video, you can actually go frame by frame on YouTube. Oh, the left okay. and right arrow keys on your computer, you can't do this on phones or mobile devices, but left and right arrow keys on your computer uh -huh. skip forwards and back five seconds. Okay. And then... The comma and the the full stop icons on your keyboard uh -huh. go frame by frame. Oh, okay. Um, they're also little like um, greater or minus or greater and less than signs on your keyboard, so you can do that. So some of the dialogue that skips over on its own, you can actually go back and go frame by frame and see it for yourselves. Oh, I can't awesome. do that because I'm, it just skips it on its own and I can't yeah. see it here. And if, if it's not actually working on your video, click the video itself. Click play or click the video uh, video window and uh -huh. then play it again. And then it should allow you to use the keyboard to be able to skip through stuff. Okay. And instead Good of pressing tip. space to pause and unpause your videos, uh -huh. I don't know why, but the actual button to pause and unpause videos on YouTube is K. And then I was you can use K to like spam pause or not oh, that's weird. to see some weird shit. I'm gonna yeah, have to I feel try like that that's going to be good advice for this series. Yep. So this is me telling her that the character reminds me of her. That's creepy. Now we're talking about, yeah. Yep. She stands up and rushes out of the classroom. Shit, I missed something. What on earth was that about? Jack? Did something happen just now? Oh, jeez. Uh, I have no idea. Yuri was acting a little strange, I guess. So, you don't know anything. Sorry, I can't say I do. Okay. You worried about her? Oh, no. Not really. That's creepy. I was just making sure that you didn't do anything to her. Why no, would no, I do nothing. anything? Uh, don't worry, I believe you, silly. Yuri just does this sometimes, so it's not alarming. Alright, if you say so. Yep. Anyway, why don't we start sharing our poems with each other? Shouldn't we wait for Yuri? Well, yeah. she might be a while, so... I just started, figured we'd get started without her. That's creepy. Is that okay? Yeah, I was just asking. I stand up and make a mental note of where I left off in the book and then slip it back into my bag. Yeah. Okay, let's go to Monica last because she's the fucked up one. <laughs> well, it's not terrible. It was pretty disappointing after your last one. And again, if this one was as good as your last one, I would be completely pissed. <laughs> well, I guess I wanted to try something a little different this time. Yeah. Fair enough. You're still new to this, so I wouldn't expect you to find your style right away. I mean, everyone in the club writes really differently from each other. Maybe you'll find a little influence from all of us. For instance, I noticed that you were spending some time with Yuri today. I don't care who you spend your time with. After all, I was thought never to expect anything from anybody. Yeah. So it's not like I was waiting for you or anything. Still, you should at least look over my poem. Yeah. You'll probably be able to learn something from it. Amy likes spiders. This is new. Because <gasps> before I wasn't able to actually read her poems, she would skip over me and say, fuck you or whatever. Yeah. Amy likes spiders. You know what I heard about Amy? Amy likes spiders. Icky, wriggly, hairy, ugly spiders. That's why I'm not friends with her. Okay. Amy has a cute singing voice. I heard her singing my favorite love song. Every time she sang the chorus, my heart would pound. 
to the rhythm of the words. She likes spiders. That's why I'm not friends with her. Jeez. One time I hurt my leg really bad. Amy helped me up and took me to the nurse. I tried not to let her touch me. She likes spiders, so her hands are probably gross. And that's why I'm not friends with her. We get it. You're not Amy friends has a lot with of her friends. because... I always see her talking to people. She probably talks about spiders. What if her friends start to like spiders too? That's why I'm not friends with her. Okay. Doesn't matter if she has other hobbies. Doesn't matter if she keeps it private. Doesn't matter if, she, if it doesn't hurt anyone. It's gross. She's gross. The world is better off without spider lovers. And I'm going to tell everyone. Jeez. Not bad, right? I don't... It's quite a bit longer than yesterday's. Yeah. Yesterday's was way too short. I was just warming up. Maybe didn't think that was the best I could do. No, of course not. <laughs> anyway, the message is pretty straightforward in this poem. Fuck Amy, fuck spiders. <laughs> it's simple. I don't have to explain it. Like anyone would agree, like anyone would agree that the subject of the poem is an ignorant jerk. Everyone has some kind of weird hobby or a guilty pleasure. Yep. Something that you're afraid if people find out, they'd make fun of you or think any less of you. Yep. Anime. <laughs> but that just makes people stupid. Who cares what someone likes, as long as they're not hurting anyone, and it makes them happy. Yep. Yeah, I guess I could agree with that. That's wait. true. What? Okay. Yuri left in a rush, and then I was like, wait, is she still in the game, but her character is still in the folder? Okay. I think people really need to learn to respect others for liking weird things. Such as two of the girls in this furry club, whom I respectfully won't name. Okay. Kind of ironic that even in my one place of comfort, I can't even have people respect me. Jeez. Now you're making me complain too much. I'm sorry. Well, what did I do? For what it's worse, <laughs> I respect you. Well, I guess thanks. It's kind of obvious that you respect Yuri more. So, yeah. whatever. We're not sharing. You can leave now. Okay. <laughs> you're a lot Jeez. like Nugget. <laughs> no, yep, see? I knew it. I knew Hi, like Nugget. Jack. How's the writing going? Alright, I guess. I'll take that as long as it's not going bad. Hobby, you're applying yourself. This is all the same as well. Don't skip. Give my poem to Monica. Great job, Jack. I was going ooh in my head while reading it. Definitely remember her saying that line before. Yeah. Um. Okay. She does a lot of the same hand gestures. I want to see if she says anything about Yuri. Suddenly the door opens. Yuri! I'm back. Did I miss anything? Not really. Well, we all started sharing our poems with each other. Uh, already? Uh, I'm sorry for being late. Uh, no need to apologize. We still have plenty of time, so I'm more glad that you took all the time you needed. All right, thanks, Monica. I suppose I should get to my poem now. Anyway, you want to read my poem now? I like the way this one turned out, so I hope you do too. Oh, jeez. Yeah, save me. Yeah, I read this one before. Oh, I read it, but it wasn't accentuated like this. Why is it all... Some of the letters are actually missing now. Yeah. Like the is capitalized. Stop. Stop, sign, cosine, tangent. Knife, breathing ribcage. Why? I knew you had weird letters under your stuff for some reason. Oh shit, there was more to it. Fuck. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I don't like it! <laughs> Just like the anti stuff. Monica's writing tip of the day. You're facing a difficult decision. When that happens, don't forget to save your game. Okay. Can you hear me? Tell me you can hear me. Anything. Oh! Please help me. It said, wait, who am I talking to? Tell me you can hear me. Please tell me. Please help me. Oh, jeez. Okay. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Oh, <gasps> that's crazy. I've been waiting for this. Let's see what you've written for today. You okay. see, some rumors spread. Do you like it? Jack, how did you pick up on this so quickly? This is all the same. Oh, she blushing. Aww. It makes me so happy. It's amazing to feel like I'm valued, Jack. My heart pounds just holding it. Ha uh ha -huh. <laughs> All the same stuff again. Rotating wheel, turning on an axle, grinding. Bolt head. Linear gearbox, falling sky, seven holy stakes, a docked ship. A portal to another world, a Jeez. thin rope tied to a thick rope. A, th a torn harness. Parabolic gearbox, expanding universe, time controlled. Gee. 
<laughs> a kaleidoscope of blood written in clocks. A time-devouring prayer connecting a sky of 40 gears and open human eyes in all directions. What? Breathing gearbox, breathing bolt head, breathing ship, breathing portal, breathing snakes. It's all the stuff that she just wrote about. <laughs> okay. Uh, doesn't really matter what it's about. My mind has been a little hyperactive lately, so I had to take it out in your pen. Okay. That is, a, a pen fell out of your backpack yesterday, so I took it home for safekeeping, and I, um, I just really like the the way that it writes. That's creepy. So I wrote this poem with it. Can I have my pen back, please? <laughs> I, I, I'm okay. Well, then I just, can we pretend this conversation never happened? You can keep the poem, though. Okay. You've unlocked a special poem. Would you like to read it? Oh, the last uh, one was so fucking weird, though. Let's do it. Can't convince I can't convince myself to go to therapy when I'm the happiest I've ever been. I'd rather keep this up until I blow oh my, my cover mind. and someone takes me to the emergency room. That's creepy. That's okay, everyone. We're all done reading each other's poems, right? We have something we need to go over today, so if everyone could come sit in front of the room. Is this about the festival? Yeah. Well, sort of. I actually said that, but she said it as well. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I didn't read it in her voice. I was saying it to myself. Do we really have to do something for the festival? It's not like we can put together anything good in just a few days. We just end up embarrassing ourselves instead of getting any new members. That's a concern of mine as well. I don't really do well in last minute preparations. Don't worry so much. We're gonna keep it simple, okay? Look, there was a bit a little more lively ever since Jack joined and we started some club activities. Uh -huh. This is the time for us to become complacent. We still only have four members. And the festival is our only real chance to find more, you know? Yeah. What's so great about getting new members anyway? We already have enough to be considered an official club. All well, members will just mean everything gets noisier or more difficult to manage. Yeah. Natsuki, I don't think you're looking at it the right way at all. Don't you want to share your passion with as many people as you can? To inspire them to find the same feelings that brought you here in the first place? Okay. The literature club could be a place where people can express themselves like they can't do anywhere else. Should be a place so intimate that you never want to leave. Okay. I know you feel that way too, you know. Like you never want to leave. <laughs> I know we all do. So that's why we should work hard. How about something together for the festival? Okay. Even if it's something small. Right, Jack? Okay. Ah. Uh. Oh, come on! You can't take advantage of Jack to agree with you just because he doesn't know how to say no to anything. Look, Jeez. Monica. Do you really think any of us here joined the club with the other people in mind? Yuri never even talked until Jack joined. As for me, I just like it better here than I do at home. <laughs> Maybe she's the one going through, yeah, like, family well, issues. Yeah, didn't she, she said say something my about father... her dad would beat the shit out of me. Yeah. If he found it. I know that was the the black text, but... Yeah. That's everyone. Sorry, but you're really the only one who's interested in finding new members. The rest of us are fine like this. I know you're president and all, but you should really consider your opinions for once. Our yeah. opinions for once. Monica is clearly taken aback by Natsuki's words. That's not true at all. I'm sure Yuri and Jack want to get more members too, right? I don't know about Yuri, but I'm kind of indifferent. If I showed as much enthusiasm as Monica wanted, then I'd probably be lying. Still, it's up to me to rescue this situation? Um, no. Natsuki's right, isn't she? This club is nothing more than a place for a few people to hang out. Why did I think that everyone here saw it the same way I did? But that doesn't mean we... that we're against getting new members or anything. Jack, why did you even join this club? What were you hoping to get out of it? You told me to well, join. Well, it's not really something I can be honest about, is it? <laughs> In fact, if I remember, you weren't even given a choice not to join. Monica sits down and stares at her desk. What's the point of all of this anyway? What if starting this club was a mistake? Now right. you've done it, Natsuki. What? Me? I just spoke my mind. Is it a crime to be honest? It's not about being honest. It's about word choice. Besides, you have no right to speak for everyone else in the club like that. You don't understand at all. I just... I just want a place that feels nice to hang out with a few friends. Is there a problem with the club being that for me? There aren't, there aren't many other places like that for me. Yeah. No, Monica wants to take that away from me. She's not 
taking anything away. No, Jack, it's not a thing. It won't be the same with the direction she wants to take it. If I wanted that, then I could have just joined any other stupid club. But this one, I mean, at least for a little bit of time, things were nice. Natsuki starts packing up her things. I'm going home. I feel like I don't belong here right now. Natsuki. Natsuki ignores Yuri and walks right out of the classroom. This is bad. I don't know what to do. Well, do you have an opinion on the festival? Uh, I don't know. I'm kind of indifferent, I guess. Oh, jeez. Oh, Who cares about that obnoxious- Who cares about that obnoxious brat? What the freak is Oh, God, is, is that on? your thoughts breaking through? Probably. I mean, I like how nice and quiet the club is right now, and I'm just happy with you here, but still, I'm the vice president. It's not right for me to extor ignore my responsibilities like that. <laughs> Nobody would cry if she killed herself. My God. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> the way you said that. Oh, I should God. do my best to consider everyone's perspective and make the decisions that's right for the club. What about you, Jack? What do you want to get out of this club? Uh, you repeat the same questions as Monica. I decide giving an indirect answer is better than nothing. I think the most important thing for is for everyone to just get along. Yeah. And for the club to provide something that you can't get anywhere else. I don't think it's about new member or about how many members, but rather the quality of each member. That's what will end up making the literature club a special place. Yeah. I see. I really agree with you. Each member contributes their own qualities in a special way. Yep. With each change in members, the identity of the club as a whole will change too. Exactly. Oh god, her fucking eye is bleeding. Really? I don't think that's necessarily a bad oh, thing. Okay it is. Stepping out of your that's comfort creepy. zone once in a while. So if you would like to help Monica with yeah. the festival and Why is it bleeding? Well. All right, well, maybe we can all talk to Natsuki tomorrow. Yuri nods. Hey, Yuri. Uh, um, I know things were a little bit awkward yesterday, but I feel like you deserve to know that I still think you're a wonderful vice president and also a wonderful friend. M Monica. Aww. I want to do everything I can to make this the best club ever, okay? Me too. Yeah. Let's all go home for today. We'll talk about the festival tomorrow. Okay. Okay. I look forward to it. Shall we go, Jack? Um, please don't take this the wrong way, but I'm going to chat with a little bit with Jack before we leave. Just want to see what he thinks of his time here and all that. It's important to me as president. That's creepy. Yuri looks a little troubled, but she doesn't protest. Okay. I trust your judgment, Monica. In that case, I'll see the two of you tomorrow. Okay. Please don't leave me alone with her. <laughs> see you tomorrow. Monica waves as Yuri exits the room. Phew. Things have been a little hectic lately, haven't they? Yes, yes they Jack, have. Jack, I just wanted to make sure you're enjoying your time at this club. Okay. I'd really hate to see you unhappy. Okay. I feel like I'm kind of responsible for that. As president. That's creepy. Why is the background? And I really do care about you. You know, that's creepy. Was the background you know, like getting the all weird? Give you a hard time without me, Natsuki is and everything, and Yuri being a little bit, you know. That's creepy. <laughs> Sometimes it feels like you and I are the only real people here. You know what I mean? But it's weird because in all the time you've been here. We've hardly gotten to spend any time together. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's technically only been a couple days. Uh-huh. Sorry, I didn't mean to say something weird. There are just some things I've been hoping to talk to you about. Things I know only you could understand. That's creepy. So that's why... No, stop it! Whoa! Whoa! That was weird. Interesting! That was so, so weird. I'm, now I'm starting to think maybe Sayori is interfe intervening with everything. Maybe. I didn't get any new files, but I wonder if any other stuff has changed. Nah, everything still seems to be the same anyway. Really? So fucking weird. Oh, that's weird. 
Okay, well, I'm gonna leave this episode of Doki Doki here. Oh no! Doki Doki is not Okie Doki. <laughs> no, it's oh, not. Holy shit, this got good. Yeah, it did. I mean, I was into it already. I would have been into this even if it was just a regular, like, visual novel dating game. Yeah. It's just because I like the characters that it was bringing up. But holy crap! That. This has yeah. everything that I love in it. Yeah. Like, kooky characters, weird twists. Yeah. All of a sudden, the glitchy shit happens, and then we have fourth wall breaks, and it puts stuff in your folders. Yeah. That is outstanding. I love this so much. I'm so excited to play more of this now. Now I get it. I get I get what people were saying. Yeah, I get it, too. And I kind of had an inkling... Because the game at the start was like... I kind of knew about Sayori. Because, like, when she first did it, I'm like, oh, so I please like, don't talk okay, to me. Okay, it's going to tackle and issues then... like that, or issues that relate to those topics yeah so then when it started talking about depression and self-harm i was like okay yeah kind of felt like it was going there didn't expect it to get that real yeah but i i thought that that was the thing all of a sudden just whoosh zero to a hundred real fucking oh, fast oh yeah man okay i get it i get it i get why everyone was like don't read anything about this game don't spoil it Okay. Don't spoil this. No, don't spoil Anybody it. Anybody in the comments, do not spoil this for others. No, don't. This is an incredibly unique thing. Even on my reactions, and it's, don't spoil it's it very, for very, It's very shocking when you see it for the first time. Yeah. So, ruining that for, for people would, would suck. Yeah. And now, now I'm at odds because now it's like, how do I title and thumbnail this series without giving too much away? Yeah. But also kind of hinting at it at the same time. I think he, I think he. I don't know, I'll, I'll really figure good. something out. This is my, this is my specialty. Yep. <laughs> oh, Matt, so good. It's my favorite episode of it so far. Yep. Oh, I'm all abuzz with theories and suspicions and everything now. Oh, jeez. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you liked it, punch the like button in the face. Yeah. Like a boys. And I found all around. Yeah. Thank you guys, and I will see all you dudes. <laughs> Woohoo! And then there's the last one that says just Monica. Oh, I love how Sam has his little Santa hat on. So cute. Yeah. Oh, well, I guess we'll see you next time. Oh, that's creepy. Okay, so that was part four of Doki Doki Literature Club. That got creepy real quick. I mean, in the last one, I mean, it was getting a little weird, but the, yeah, that made me extremely uncomfortable. I mean, I kind of knew what was going to happen with Sayori, like I said, because I was afraid last time when he went to go check on her that she was going to be, she either hurt herself or she hung herself. So, I mean, that was still shocking to me, but I kind of, I kind of knew it was going to happen. Um... But all the other stuff that was going on, yeah, I think Monica's trying to, like, control them. Because, like, every time they try to say stuff and they try to say something to her, like, to the character, to, like, Jack's character, they look at Monica, they're like, um, I can't say this within her, with, with her in the room. Because then she'll start to, like, try to shut me down. Um, so that's getting really good. I actually, this actually came out on Steam and I was going to play it. I was going to play this game. And I even clicked into it, and I clicked on the game, and it just looked, I don't know, it just looked like a very weird game. It just looked like a normal, like, dating game, like like one of those, like, a narration game. So I just didn't think of anything of it. And then when he started to play it, I was like, okay, this must be a good game. And it got very weird very quickly. Um, so hopefully you guys liked this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe down below. Sorry that the editing was a little bit weird, um... For some reason, my recording, like, shot down, so I had to re-record over some stuff. That's why it's a little wonky right there. Um, but this is, I cannot wait for part five. I know I didn't record a Doki Doki one in a while. I was just trying to get other stuff done. Um, but part five is going to probably come up soon. I'll probably do that in the next day or two. Um, if there's anything that you guys want me to react to, let me know down in the comment sections below. If there's a video that you guys want me to react to, like any of the Don't Laugh uh, videos from Markiplier, if you guys want me to react to those. If you guys want me to react to The Forest, I know he did, Jack did a couple things on The Forest. If you want me to react to that, let me know down in the comment sections below. And I just wanted to say thank you to everyone who is either like, comments, and subscribed on my videos. You guys are the sweetest people I have ever met. You guys comment on all of my videos. 
you guys say what you love about me, you guys say what you what you would like from the channel, and I always listen to your stuff. I always go and I like every single one of your comments. I always heart every single one of your comments. Um, and I always look after them each time, and I, if there's a question, I will answer it. You guys know that. Um, but like I said before, if there, um, this is some really heavy stuff, so if you guys, I'll put it down in the description, if you guys have, like, thoughts of suicide, and you're not very good with the thoughts of suicide, I urge you not to watch this video, just like the other one, I urge you not to watch this video, because I don't want... I don't want you guys getting into that mindset again. If you just got out of it and this could put you right back into it, I don't want you putting that right into it. So, so hopefully you guys have a great rest of your weekend and I will see you all later. Stay sunny, everybody.